Hello, my name is Professor Petros Nikoyanopoulos. I'm uh, the course director of this uh, rather unique uh, master's degree course on uh, medical ultrasound. Uh, the, this uh, MSc in medical ultrasound has two arms, echocardiography and vascular ultrasound. It provides clinicians and uh, medical scientists of all sorts of background with intensive training in both the theoretically base of uh, medical ultrasound and uh, the required scanning and uh, diagnostic uh, skills that uh, may be required. The, we have a very active academic uh, team, other than myself, uh, as the lead for echocardiography module. We have uh, Dr. Mo Aslam, uh, who is the lead for vascular stream, Dr. Abigail Thrash and uh, Ramnarin Kumar, who are the leads uh, for physics uh, module and Mr. Tony Stedman, a key person who is a course administrator and the key person to, uh, to communicate with all sorts of issues and problems that uh, students may be facing uh, with regard to this master's course in uh, medical ultrasound. And we have uh, two very important and very um, uh, key figures uh, of this course throughout the year, the senior teaching fellows Dr. Samir uh, Suleimani, who is a PhD, and in fact, he is a post MSc student as well. So he has passed through the motions of this uh, course. And Ms. Wing Si Chung, who is uh, the principal uh, sonographer at uh, Hammersmith Hospital for echocardiography, and uh, the person who will be uh, we, uh, with you and supervising all students uh, almost day in, day out. We have uh, uh, a number of teaching hospitals uh, other than the Hammersmith Hospital whereby students are placed. There is Charing Cross, St. Mary's Hospital and the Royal Brompton Hospital. Uh, all uh, may be welcoming uh, one or two students uh, to uh, to exert their clinical practice, but also sometimes supervise the projects. The course structure uh, is uh, such that has two main streams, echocardiography and uh, vascular, as we said. Uh, the echo stream is only full-time, 12 months full-time. Uh, course because uh, we have uh, uh, a number of uh, modules that uh, we cannot really divide into two years. Uh, the vascular has uh, both full-time and part-time. The duration of the course is 12 months full-time and uh, the location is uh, at Imperial College uh, and uh, NHS uh, Trust. So the placement is at the same time as the course. Uh, the, this MSc in medical ultrasound is uh, rather unique. Uh, it is both academic and uh, vocational in nature. It aims to produce students who can use research and development skills in order to develop the field of medical ultrasound whether you are uh, scientists or uh, physicians. The course offers two modules, echocardiography and vascular, each run independently in their respective departments. As I said, again, placement is on site. These uh, two streams, uh, during the week, we have uh, two days of uh, lectures, two to three days of clinical hands-on training, with face-to-face uh, -face, uh, teaching, one study day that uh, you spend the day in the library or at home uh, reviewing the literature and uh, starting uh, working on the research uh, projects. Most of the research projects are prospective and patient-based. 
Now, why you should choose uh, the Imperial College MSc in medical ultrasound? Well, there are five important reasons. First, it is both academic and vocational. So for those who want to exert and practice echocardiography or vascular ultrasound as a professional, then this is a starting point uh, so you can give, you can get the very strong base of uh, the technique and the technology, but also academic because you have a first academic degree of MSc, and then you go to a PhD if uh, some students um, may be willing to progress. Uh, second, you have a direct placement in one of the Imperial College hospitals, which is again unique. Most other courses do not offer this direct placement. Three, there is a similar syllabus for BSc and the Society of Vascular Ultrasound because uh, these are the two professional bodies. So if you want to practice as a professional, you want to sit the national examinations of BSc and SVU. So this is uh, to allow you to become a professional sonographer. But uh, the MSE gives you a solid base and the syllabus is very, very similar to these national requirements. Four, you have ample exposure to patients and lots of hands-on experience. You have more than 50 hands-on experience in patients during the year and it is strong in the research. You will learn research if you have not had any experience in the past, but also you will be able to uh, advance your research uh, capabilities, reviewing the literature and writing projects. Some of the research uh, projects that you will be um, working uh, on may be developed to full papers if um, the appropriate uh, findings and discoveries have been made. The lectures during the week, uh, uh, they run from October to January, mainly on physics. And you start with the research methodologies that uh, you, together with myself and uh, Dr. Aslam, will develop the prospective project. Uh, in January of uh, the year uh, until May, you begin to get uh, the theoretical uh, lectures on the subspecialty, vascular or echocardiography, and start um, filling in your logbook with your uh, scanning patients. The project will run throughout the year, starting from day from uh, week two with the uh, research. Uh, project development, and then the methodology, and slowly and progressively, we will develop together with the students the actual project that you will be dealing with. Finally, uh, your assessment. Well, there are four types of um, four uh, assessment. The physics, which is assessed by a written examination. The, the subspecialty, both with multiple choice questions, but also with a long answer question. The project will be assessed uh, uh, with a Viva presentation in front of myself and the external examiner and the dissertation. And finally, the clinical examination, uh, uh, which you will be examined uh, with a live scanning on a real patient. You have mock exams, both for physics and the specialty, so that students coming from all over the world may be accustomed to the UK system of examination. These mock exams are formative. They are not graded. So your grade will not count for your final exams, but it will be for you to get feedbacks on your examination. And of course, the finals, which are summative uh, examination based on physics, the specialty, the project, and the clinical assessment as said. The student cohort varies from year to year. 
we have uh, more or less equal share of uh, home students and overseas students from multiple countries, including uh, home countries, UK, but also Saudi Arabia, China, Hong Kong, Malaysia, Singapore, India, and uh, Africa and South Africa. So multiple uh, countries and uh, many people coming from all over the world, which are welcome, all one in common cause to learn medical ultrasound. There are also research opportunities. This uh, MSc in medical ultrasound is widely recognized as one important qualification for people intending to pursue a career in medical ultrasound, whichever the background is. Every year, a high proportion of the students go on to study for an MD research or a PhD. Every year, we have a number. Uh, one of the tutors, as I said, uh, Dr. Suleimani is an ex MSc student. Most medically qualified students uh, return to clinical practice after they complete uh, their MSc uh, project, and they, they, pro they are provided with a solid background for further research and job opportunities. Others uh, who have a science degree go into a wide range of careers, including specialized sonographers, physiologists, and other health care professionals in the NHS in, or abroad, Europe and beyond. Career opportunities. We encourage all students to sit either the National uh, British Society of Echocardiography and Society of Vascular Ultrasound Examinations, or indeed the European accreditation system for those who intend to practice in Europe. The two examinations are very, very similar. They can in, be employed in, as uh, band six cardiac or vascular sonographers if they have not passed the uh, BSc or the national examinations yet, but uh, can be employed as band seven cardiac or vascular sonographers after successful passing their national examinations and are registered in the state, uh, state registration. Finally, uh, we always encourage students to a higher degree as PhD students. So with this, I would like to wish you uh, uh, good luck with your uh, future endeavors. And uh, I am looking forward to welcome you to Imperial College to this uh, MSc in uh, medical ultrasound. Thank you.